We are in the final week of National Reading Month, and I talked to children's book author and also Dr. Rachel Waldner to learn about the developmental importance of reading to your children from a young age. What is the importance of reading? Why should we be reading to our children? And there's cognitive development, which is development of your brain and learning. Um, you know, you have uh, advanced educational benefits where, again, it kind of dials into that cognitive development. It's just the way your brain starts to think and the connections that get made. There's something in the brain called synapses, which are a connection from one area of the brain to the next. And those synapses connect and develop early. Uh, you can see it in any child learning a new language, how they learn it at, um, or he or she learns it at a very young age and there's no replacement for it. Same with wow. music, you know, yeah. same with the music. And, um, you know, those types of fields where you really connect the synapses young and it, reading is one of them. If you didn't learn to read when you're young, uh, it becomes very hard to do when you're older. My, my books are drawn with like very a high level of um, uh, illustration and articulation so that it really brings in the child's um, uh, visual receptors and their senses. And uh, I think it's very important to combine not only the words with a lot of visual. Um, that gets them engaged. That's how they'll start reading and and uh, you know, synthesizing information. So it's very important. I've I've tried some books where it's a lot of text and little photos and no interest at all right now. Work. There um, has to be some sort of story and some way to engage the child so that he or she feels like he's in the story. I I feel like with all the screens surrounding children right now, I notice our daughter's just drawn to every single screen. And I feel like things happen so fast for like flashy, right? But does a book help maybe with attention span or like to slow them down? I think so. I think you can read a book at its own pace, um, at whatever pace your child feels comfortable reading it. That you can read a book part of it one night and the next part the next night it doesn't there's no pressure on a book unless the school curriculum asks yeah then that's a little different isn't it um you can find dr welner's books they are available on amazon and also on her website